Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we have something exciting to showcase, the Koenigam and Olta Luminance Meter series. In front of me I have the LF160 and the CF160. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay updated on the latest product demonstration. So let's get started. So inside the box, we have the luminance meter. We have the eyepiece ND filter and the eyepiece cap, as well as the USB cable. So let's talk about the ND filter. So this eyepiece ND filter is useful to block the amount of light that we see, especially when measuring into direct light to prevent some eye damages. So you all you have to do is screw it on at the back of your lens. Okay. And apart from that, we also have the eyepiece cap in the event that you do not want additional light or you want to block light going into the um, eyepiece itself, you could just take this and screw it on to it. Just like that. Okay. And lastly, the USB cable. This USB cable could be used to power on the meter um, by connecting the USB cable to this socket over here and um, connecting the other end to a power brick or a wall socket or even to the laptop. It does come with an included software which you could use it to transfer data or even uh, trigger the meter from the software. Now that's out of the way, let's take a closer look at the equipment. So over here, we have two ways to power up the equipment. One is via the USB cable, which I mentioned earlier, or using two AA batteries by sliding out this compartment. You could use alkaline batteries or rechargeable batteries. However, take note that you cannot charge your rechargeable batteries using the USB power here. Over here, we have the power switch where you just flip it to the left to power it on. As soon as you power it on, you could see the display start sliding up with some information. There is a trigger button over here to start taking measurements. The eyepiece is over here as acting as a viewfinder to look into. And over here, we have the focusing dial to focus on the subject and the trigger button to trigger the measurement. There are six buttons over here. The first button says color or on the LS series would say data. This will actually channel you to different uh, data or colors. The next button would be the information button. You will be able to get the information of the measurement. Escape uh, would take you back to the previous screen or previous menu. Over here, we have the backlight button. Turning on, on will activate the backlight, which will allow for better vis visibility at night or in low light conditions. The next button is the save measurement. <coughs> Saving can be done automatically for each measurement or by pressing the save button. And lastly, we have the menu button over here. Pressing the menu button will channel you into the menu system, which you could change certain settings. Lastly, we have the tripod mount over here, which takes a quarter inch tray. On the focusing, the minimum focus distance is one meter and goes all the way up to infinity. Next, let's talk about the difference between the LS series and the CS series. Over here, I've been showing you the CS model and let me bring in the LS160 as well over here. And turning on the LS160, you would see there's a difference in the data shown over here. Let me get a closer look at this. So on the LS160 display, or even for the LS150 as well, you would only see LV, which denotes luminance. 
However, on the CS160 model or 150, you would see luminance as well as color data. Over here, I have TCP and DUV, which represents the correlated color temperature. Or by pressing the word color, I could check the dominant wavelength and purity. Well, this is well in focus. Check the XY color and channeling back again to correlated color temperature. Over on the LS 150 or 160, clicking the data button would actually bring you up to the data list of all the safe measurements. So that would be the main difference between the LS1, LS 150 or 160 model against the CS150 or 160 model. So let's talk about the difference between the 150 and the 160 models for both the LS series and the CS series. So the 150 has a bigger measuring area. This you can see by looking to the viewfinder you will notice that the measurement spot in the viewfinder for the 150 is bigger than the one in the 160. Okay. Um, the 150 model has a one degree measurement angle, whereas the 160 models have a one third degree measurement angle. And how does this differ? You could see in the chart over here, where the same measurement distance of one meter, the 150 model has a bigger measurement area compared to the 160 models. Here I have the unit set up on the tripod and we'll be measuring the light source. I am adjusting the focus to ensure the measurement spot is on the light source. Next I would press and hold the measurement button until the measurement is taken and the small screen inside the viewfinder lights up with the measurement value. Following the measurement that we just took, we could have a look at the data. Over here, you will see the LV reading, followed by the color temperature. Um, pressing on the color button, it will channel between different color units. The LV still will remain, but the color unit now moves to dominant wavelength and priority. Pressing the color once more will give us the XY reading. This measurement could be safe by pressing the save button. And the measurement information could be found by pressing the I icon. And we could see the measurement date and time, the integration time, and other information of it. Pressing escape will bring us to the back menu. And at any point of time, we would need to change the settings. You could press the menu button and go through the measurement conditions and change the desired parameters. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video and please do not forget to like and subscribe this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below and I hope to see you in the next video.